thyristotypes. So depending upon a physical construction and turn on turn off behavior, thyristors are classified. Reverse conducting thyristors or RCTs. In many chokers and inverter circuits, an anti parallel diode is connected across the SCR in order to allow the reverse current flow due to the inductive load and to improve the turn off requirement of commutation circuit. The diode clamps the reverse blocking voltage of an SCR to 1 R 2 volts under steady state condition. However, under transient conditions, the reverse voltage may rise to 30 volts from 1 to 2 volts due to induced voltage in the circuit stray inductance within the device and reverse conducting thyristor or RCT is compromised between the device characteristics and circuit requirements and it may be considered an thyristor with a built-in anti-parallel diode as shown in this figure and forward blocking voltage that is V VO 400 to 2000 volts and the current rating is up to 500 amps. Reverse blocking voltage is typically 30 to 40 volts. Since the ratio of forward current to the thyristor to reverse current of the diode is fixed for a given device, their applications will be limited to a specific circuit design. Static induction thyristor SITH. A SITH minority carrier device having low on stage resistance and voltage drop and it can be made with high voltage and high current ratings. The SIT has faster switching speed and uh, high dv by dt and the di by dt cap voltages. And the switching speed is approximately 1 to 6 microseconds. And the voltage ratings is near about 2500 volts. And the current rating is limited by 500 amps. This device is extremely process sensitive. A small perturbation in the manufacturing process would produce major changes in the device characteristics. The characteristics of SITH are similar to those of MOSFETs. SITH is normally turned on by applying a positive gate voltage like normal thyristor and turned off by applying a negative voltage to its gate. Then when light activated silicon control rectifier or laser this device is turned on by direct radiation on the silicon wafer with the light. Electron hole pairs which are created due to the radiation produce triggering current under the influence of electric field. The gate structure is designed to provide sufficient gate sensitivity for triggering from practical high sources. The symbol of Laser. The lasers are used in high voltage high current operations like HVDC transmission, static reactive power, that is static VAR, compensation. A laser offers complete electrical isolation between the light triggering source and the switching device of the power converter, which floats at a potential of as high as a few hundred kilovolts. The voltage rating of a laser could be 5 kV at 1500 amperes with the light triggering power less than 100 milliwatts. A typical di by dt is 250 amps per microsecond and dv by dt is 2000 volts per microsecond. Effect control thyristor. Effect control device combines MOSFET and thyristor in parallel as shown in this figure. If a sufficient Voltage is applied to the gate of a MOSFET. This typically fuels the gate voltage. A triggering current for the thyristor is generated internally. It has a high switching speed, high di by dt, and a high dv by dt. And this device can be turned on like conventional thyristor, but it cannot be turned off by gate control. It would find applications where optical firing is to be used for providing electrical isolation between the input or control signal and the switching device of the power converter. A MOS control thyristor or MCT 
combines the features of a regenerative four layer thyristor and MOSGATE structure. This is the schematic of MCT and this is an equivalent circuit and this is the symbol. The NP NP structure may be represented by NPN transistor Q1 and PNP transistor Q2. The MOSGATE structure can be represented by P channel MOSFET M1 and N channel MOSFET M2. Due to the NP NP structure rather than PNP structure of a normal SER, the anode serves as the reference terminal with respect to which all gate signals are applied. Uh, this is Q1 as NPN, whereas Q2 is PNP. Let us assume the MCT is in forward block stage and negative VGA is applied. Turns on P channel MOSFET M1, thus providing the base current for the transistor Q2. If MCT is in conduction stage, positive gate signal is applied. This VGA diverts the current driving to the base Q1. Therefore, MCT is turned off. The MCT can be operated as gate control device if its current is less than peak controllable current. Attempting to turn off the MCT at currents higher than its rated peak controllable current may result in destroying the device. For higher values of currents, the MCT has to be commutated off like a standard SCR. The gate pulse widths are not critical for smaller device currents. For large currents, the width of turn off pulse should be larger. Moreover, the gate draws a peak current during the turn off. In many applications, including inverters and choppers, a continuous gate pulse over the entire on off period is required to avoid the state ambiguity. An MCT has low forward voltage drop during conduction or on state, fast turn on time, that is, there about 0.4 microseconds, and fast turn off time, 1.25 microseconds. For an MCT of 300 amps and 500 volts, low switching losses. Low reverse voltage blocking capability, high gate input impedance. These are the thyristor types.